Good morning, welcome. It is 10 a.m. in Paris Central European Time CET. We are Wednesday, 20th of September, and you are listening to the live stream of Fresh 2023. Fresh, the international event for the development of contemporary circus and outdoor arts is back. 20 years, 20 years, 20 years anniversary this year of Circo Strada Network. Circo Strada, what it is? It is a network all around Europe, all around the world, with more than 150 members, more than 40 countries together in Paris for the 20th anniversary for three days today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow in Paris and around Paris. While I am talking to you, you that are listening to me all around the world through the web, exclusive live web radio station. I can see people gathering and entering into this space in La Villette. La Villette was choose to, 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 for this meeting because it's a huge cultural center in Paris. It is uh, located in the north east part of Paris and it's almost a city, a big village. In the middle of La Villette, you have this industrial building renovated called La Grande Halle de La Villette. And this is where we are, underneath, under the Grande Halle de La Villette, used to be a butcher place. So you have in La Villette La Grande Halle de La Villette, but you also have the city of music, you also are You also have a theater, you also have a park, you also have a canal, you also have La Geode, a scientific place. You also have a new philharmonic place called La Philharmonie that is all like a sardina in the sky. But we are here together to celebrate the Costrada Network Fresh and Making Waves Association and all around platform are our partners to make it possible. Follow the stream and full program on circostrada.org and you can also get access to this live stream of the French 2023 morning session through the all around platform. You might, you may listen to some voices of all the people coming in this theater place underneath, where I remember I've seen a lot of great uh, theatre uh, performance. In La Villette you also have a um, circus place, it used to be the Chapiteau place. So it's, it's really the place to be, to be uh, an international, active, interesting, uh, cultural uh, meeting. This morning you will attend to the morning sessions, as if you were here. There will be roundtables, artistic talks, and keynotes. And every morning, as you may know, a different topic will be choose. Today on live at La Villette for the opening, still uh, many people arriving while I'm talking, you will be attend to um, special morning about the notion of care. To care about what to care about, to care together, which is a philosophical and ethic uh, topic. Tomorrow we will talk about the notion of safety and Friday about sustainability. So as you can see, three main topics to see the present and also to to draw uh, perspectives for uh, the future in this world of uh, contemporary circus and outdoor art. The morning session, as you will soon hear, is organized on the following menu. <laughs> I'm French, so I talk about food. <laughs> so, uh, to start, There will be, of course, the welcoming words. Then you will listen, as every morning, to a keynote, a 20 minutes key.
key note. It's a short, uh, dynamic and, and powerful session uh, to reflect. So, uh, as I told you, the keynote today will be about care and it will be um, done by a French philosopher called uh, Fabienne Brugère, who wrote a book about it, The Ethic of Care. And right after a keynote, she will join us on the radio for uh, 10 more exclusive uh, talk. After, um, it will be around 11 o'clock, maybe a bit later, you know, as it is, always take time to start. Um, a large round table will take place in which uh, six artists and uh, cultural professionals will discuss and share ideas about the relationship between programmers and artists and always on this topic of, of, of care. And it will be a, a long round table, 90 minutes round table to make uh, possible everybody to, to talk clearly. And after this, uh, Round table, it will be around um, maybe let's say 12 45. Uh, right after, we'll be glad also in this exclusive uh, stream radio to invite for a brief talk one of the panelists who uh, participate to, to, to the round table, uh, who is uh, Kun Alari. Kun Alari is coming from Belgium, from Gand and is a coordinator and is developing Tanzpunt into an incubator for amateur and emerging artists. It's uh, very interesting also to, to have his, his perspective because he, he talks not only with artists but also with, with amateur. And around this question of care, it will be important uh, to listen to Token, of course, you will listen to all the morning uh, session. I can see now we are certainly soon to start. Uh, more and more people are, are coming. As I can see, uh, the audience is uh, quite young. It's uh, around, uh, let's say, I would say uh, uh, 40 years old and a big, uh, a nice mix of uh, men and women. I can even see a plant <laughs> walking there, a girl with a, with a plant in her, in her top bag, which is funny, I guess she, she bought it. Uh, it's, it's uh, okay, beautiful in this, uh, this place. So, as I told you, we are celebrating for the next uh, uh, three days, uh, Circo Strada's next network was uh, supported by uh, uh, the French Ministry with, with Art Senar and with the European Commission, but it's not exclusively a European network. And this web stream is here for you that couldn't be here with us to listen uh, to the exchange and with the Making Wave Association. We are recording it and you will uh, have the stream with the help of all around, with, with sending the sound and the sound like spreading all over the world. And I have to tell you that also you will be able after these three days to listen to the podcast that will be edited and also to read in few months a publication that will be made but you can also from now listen to the podcast that was made before the event by uh, Mike Emus who produced Around Fresh where you can see all the topics, care, safety, sustainability, already separated in different uh, podcasts, and that you can uh, get, of course, through circostrada.org and uh, listen to this uh, very uh, stimulating podcast. Can you hear the sound? People are, are coming. 
I would say, more than 200 people here in Paris. Let's listen a little bit to, to the crowd for a few seconds. So here, people coming, La Villette, fresh, 20th anniversary of Circus Strada Network. As I told you, we're ready to open. Today we are in La Villette, so I told you, uh, La Villette, it's a huge city in the city, in a way, but always linked to other city because it's very close uh, to the suburb, in a way. And the space is always moving towards the other, always transforming. It's a lively place. Tomorrow we will go to Bagneux, to the le plus petit cirque du monde, the smallest circus in the world. You know, in circus it's always extraordinary, most fabulous. And as they are uh, very humble, they call it the smallest circus in the world. So it will be the second moment of the morning talks where we'll talk about safety. You will see in Bagneux also a very interesting uh, a project about circus and uh, outdoor art in a democratic way. And for the, the third day, we will come back to Paris, but also another place called La Pelouse Rui, uh, which is in the east part of Paris, next to Vincennes, Bois de Vincennes, you may know. And in Pelouse Rui, there is the village de Cirque. So it's a place where uh, actually a uh, circus and outdoor uh, festival is taking place. I can see people coming, it's nice to see all these people. They, they kiss, they meet, they say hello. Everybody knows everybody or not everybody yet. It will be done in three days because, you know, in fresh, in the afternoon, it's morning session altogether. In the morning, sorry. And in the afternoon, there are different paths that are organized to, to get to know more uh, circus and outdoor places here in Paris where it is organized, Circo Strada Network, for the 20th anniversary. It's, it's almost full, it's crowded here, it's nice. We'll send you a picture also, you could see. <laughs> and it will be done on the circostrada.org where you can listen, as I told you again, to the podcast Around Fresh, uh, produced by Mike Emus. And that, was, uh, that is online. And you will follow anyway the morning session with us fresh radio live stream we are live huh? i can tell you the hour it's almost uh 20 past 10 in paris local time and uh, after the welcoming words we will listen to the uh, french uh, philosopher fabienne brugere who wrote l'éthique Du Caire, which is a, a book that uh, think of uh, the necessity uh, to care into not only a political way after the pandemic, but a revolution way to be together again. She is not uh, familiar to contemporary circus and to outdoor arts, but this is on purpose because uh, uh, Circo Strada wanted for this 20th anniversary to invite every morning someone that was not from the uh, circus world or not from the outdoor arts, but to look to open perspectives. So a philosopher, a designer, a scientific will come every of each morning, open the uh, perspectives, the horizon, and our world, 
our professional world with uh, design, landscape design, of course, we'll talk about sustainability. How can we do together? And with the uh, scientific, we'll, we, we'll talk about safety, of course, all topics that are very uh, pregnant in our actuality, but we don't put it in the political way. We put it in the humanistic way, uh, in our world, the contemporary circus and outdoor art. Okay, people are coming now on stage, as I can see, gathering around, still full, waiting to the morning session to start, and we can see on stage now a screen introducing the morning schedule of the session. I said menu, you know, <laughs> but I should have said schedule of the session. So, as I told you, welcoming words, keynote on ethic of care, intermission, but the intermission will be with us because you'll have the chance uh, to have 10 more exclusive radio talk with Fabien Bougère talking on the ethic of care. And after the round table, the title of the round table is Care in Art World. And a few closing words, the closing words we will listen to and after we'll, we'll meet again with uh, Ken Ullery working in Tanz Punt, uh, an incubator for amateur and emerging artists in Gand, in Belgium. Let's listen to the crowd. Yeah, younger and younger, I told you 40 years old, but more I would say 30 years old. From Comoro, kisses, saying hello. Yes, the theater is full. That's great. Good morning, if you join us, we are in Paris, you are listening to the web live stream of fresh, fresh 20th anniversary of, anniversary of Circo Strada Network. People around starting soon, the morning station. We are at La Villette. La Villette, it's a huge place in Paris. You may know, you have to discover if you don't know it because it's fantastic also from the architectural point of view. You can see buildings from the 19th century where used to be the industrial food part of Paris where they used to be uh, butchers, and you can uh, visit the latest uh, building that was uh, made uh, by uh, Jean Nouvel, architect, French architect Jean Nouvel, who just made a few years ago La Philharmonie, which is huge and glittering like metal into the, the sky, which would be the sea, because it looks a little bit like a sardina. You have also small red spot buildings called Folly. You have gardens for children. You have uh, open air cinema. You have uh, Geode, which is all round for the scientific uh, place. You have a uh, circus place. And if you cross the street, you can uh, find other circus place that used to be the Fratellini Circus, where some people will go this afternoon. It's almost time for the debate to start 
here in Paris. The name of the theater where we are, it's underneath, so the industrial building, and it's called La Salle Boris Vian. Boris Vian was, uh, used to be French artist and singer and writer with a typically uh, French humor, we can say. So here in La Villette, we are celebrating the 20th year of Circo Strada Network. Fresh, 2023. 20, it's uh, Circo Strada, more than 150 members, more than 40, 40 countries. And I guess I have to uh, open the microphone to the stage. It's time to start at La Villette. Welcoming words, follow us on stream. You are listening to the web stream radio of Fresh. Fresh is the event to celebrate the uh, development of contemporary circus and outdoor network. Circo Strada, I tried to speak, maybe. I can see the light going down. So it will be the time for the welcoming words the light first went down, and maybe now we open the microphone. Bonjour. Bonjour et bienvenue à La Villette pour cette première matinée de Fresh. Cette année, nous allons célébrer, nous célébrons les 20 ans du réseau Circo Strada avec une édition de Fresh qui est particulière parce que pour la première fois, nous allons aborder en même temps des thématiques liées aux arts du cirque et aux arts de la rue. La Villette fait partie de Circo Strada depuis le tout début quand le réseau est né d'une manière informelle comme un groupe de professionnels qui se retrouvaient sur les festivals pour parler des spectacles et pour imaginer des projets communs. Dans le temps, le réseau a beaucoup évolué. Nous sommes maintenant plus de 150 membres avec plus de 40 pays euh, et euh, avec des activités très riches qui sont proposées tout au long de l'année. Malgré ça, le plaisir de se retrouver, d'échanger, euh, d'imaginer des projets ensemble reste le même. Dans le temps, le paysage artistique et institutionnel a aussi beaucoup changé. Dans beaucoup de pays, euh, les arts euh, dans l'espace public et le cirque euh, sont maintenant euh, reconnus euh, d'une manière beaucoup plus importante que ce n'était pas le cas avant. Euh, et ça, c'est aussi beaucoup grâce au travail que nous avons fait avec Circo Strada. Euh, cela dit, il y a encore beaucoup de travail à faire et l'action de Circo Strada reste très importante et nécessaire aussi pour les années à venir. À la Villette, nous avons eu déjà le plaisir d'accueillir les trois premières éditions de Fresh Circus il y a quelques années. Et nous sommes vraiment ravis de pouvoir vous accueillir ici aujourd'hui. Donc, je tiens vraiment à remercier très particulièrement donc, tous les partenaires de ce projet et en particulier tous les participants du groupe de travail de Fresh au sein de Circo Strada qui ont travaillé sur le programme du séminaire ainsi que les équipes de Circo Strada, d'Arsena et de La Villette qui ont travaillé à la préparation de cette journée. 
donc, euh, je vous remercie aussi beaucoup d'être là. Nous allons aborder pendant ces trois jours des thématiques qui sont cruciales euh, pour nos sociétés et aussi pour le travail artistique et culturel. J'espère je, que, voilà, que ce sera un, trois jours très enrichissants pour nous tous et toutes. Et je vous souhaite une très, très belle journée, première journée. Merci. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Merci beaucoup, euh, Raphaël, de Bonjour. nous accueillir à la Villette, partenaire euh, de cette édition de Fresh. Et euh, et la Villette, uh, partenaire de cette fresh session. Nous avons et, uh, bien I also want to thank our 12 partners. Uh, we work together really well. Um, it is a very emotional moment uh, because this is a very special Fresh because you are uh, here, uh, because some of you came from very far and uh, We have uh, 150 numbers in 45 countries in 20 years. This is uh, rather impressive. Uh, I'm really happy uh, because we're going to celebrate these uh, 20 years with an event that will not be a proper commemoration, though uh, we need uh, to honor all the people who work to make this network bigger. But we imagine this seminar really as a work as a look toward the future to keep on working for the whole countries in the world. And this is why during those three days, we are going to think about three essential questions. Uh, we are going to exchange, uh, we are going to debate, but we also are going to laugh because this is also what our network is about. This is the strength of our network to give uh, the possibility to people to find ideas, to resources, uh, uh, to actually reinforce what we know. And um, it is also a possibility to find example to enrich and uh, to actually pursue our our initiatives and uh, we find solutions together, we find inspiration in others. So our approach is both uh, pragmatic and uh, very uh, lively and uh, friendly. Um, our network uh, is a network where everyone gives as much as it receives. It is the principle of uh, solidarity and uh, diversity was uh, one of the very value and this is the uh, real engine of our network and that explains why we have uh, been able to continue to work all those 20 years. As director of uh, Arsena, uh, we are the National Centre of uh, Street Arts and Circus in France, uh, so we are the um, pilot of this project, but uh, this means a whole team that uh, actually uh, supports the international department of our organization. But uh, seminars like this is also for us a possibility to learn. Um, and um, we have possibilities to learn while watching what is being done elsewhere. And uh, doing that, we learned a lot about our own practices and what we do and how we do it. I think this collective uh, dynamics and this uh, partnership uh, dynamics that are in the heart of our network uh, is how we built a, a European community. Um, thanks uh, to all of you and uh, thanks uh, to the European Union to actually support this wonderful adventure. Thanks to the French Ministry of Culture to keep on uh, supporting us. Bonjour tout le monde. Je suis so, uh, extrêmement I'm heureux really d'être parmi uh, vous to be with you uh, today for the opening of the 10th edition of Fresh and uh, to celebrate together the 20 years of the Circle Strader Network. I am Stéphane Segreto Aguilar. I am uh, in charge of uh, international relations and coordinator of the network Circle Strader. One for once, I'll speak uh, in French, but I swear that I am going to be rather concise, and I swear that I'm going to speak English on the next occasion. I have two lists to share with you, a list of wishes and a list of thanks. 
I really uh, wish you an unforgettable experience, strong emotions, unexpected encounters. I hope you take the time to share your ideas, projects, and desires, and dreams. I hope you discover and rediscover approaches, practices, places, and ways of doing and thinking that are different from your own. I hope you meet new or old colleagues and friends and that you forge and renew links, connections and collaborations. I hope you'll be transformed, renewed and regenerated by the exchanges and conversation we'll have, particularly during the morning sessions. Today, we'll be talking about cares. Tomorrow, safe spaces and Fridays about sustainability. We will also we need to continue to act together to build a better future for all those of you working in our sectors. There are 400 of you coming from 40 different countries, not counting all those listening to us through the internet. And I really believe that if we want to bring about systemic changes and face the current multidimensional crisis, even on our very small, we can do it. And above all, we must try. Finally, I hope you have a great time in all simplicity and to come back refreshed. But I really realize that this works better in English. So now here I go with my list of thanks. First, the Arsenal team and uh, especially my colleagues Laura, Kinga and Anna, without whom this event could not take place. A great thanks to the Fresh Committee, composed of 24 members of the network, two other members of Zerko Strada, and to our steering committee. And also, I want to thank the key partners, La Villette, Le Plus Petit Cirque du Monde. I'm not going to repeat, so listen carefully. Le Moulin Fondu, Festival Primo, Le Centre National de la Danse, L'Azimut, Paul National Cirque, Le lycée avant le lycée, Circus Next, Le Mont Fort Théâtre et Institut. C'est bien le premier fresh qui rassemble autant de partenaires. It is the first fresh where we have so many partners and that opens to both our sectors, contemporary sectors and our street performers. I also want to thank all the administration, communication and technical staff, as well as our translators and our three uh, accomplices making waves. Uh, on the web radio, Harvey Round, that helps us to um, spray the web radio on the internet, and Falaf, or committed uh, delicatessen that will delight us during the three days, and also our two uh, funders, the Ministry of Culture, more specifically the Delegation to Creation, and the European Commission with Creative Europe. Last but not least, Thanks to you in this room to have come to Paris, and thanks to the people who are online to listen to us. I promised a short discourse, and uh, I think I have made it. So I give the floor now to Gilles Pelayo, who is the head of culture to uh, the EACA agency, EACA agency, European Education Culture Executive Merci Agency. <coughs> There has always been uh, a lot of thanks, but I really want to thank uh, the Villette people uh, to welcome us here. Uh, also, Gwenola David and the whole team of Arsena to uh, carry on with this project, Stefan Aguilar and all his team in Circo Strada that uh, enable us to be here. And uh, most of all, I really want to uh, say hello strong hello to all the participants, all the players of our sectors, uh, without whom us in backstage uh, will just not do what we are doing as a job. And I'm speaking, uh, in, I speak of artists, producers, managers, coordinators, technicians, staff, uh, communication, people, funders, uh, we modestly are funders as well, uh, venues, creation places, 
venues, festivals, the whole uh, ecosystem of uh, performing arts. So uh, a really happy birthday to you all. Twenty years is a, a very symbolical age, and uh, seen from the European Union, uh, the uh, birthday date of uh, the first uh, report that had been asked on the circus sector. So I would say that uh, it is a generation that showed really that uh, this new sector was taken uh, into question by the American. The contemporary sector uh, is one of the sector of the performing art that is very important for the creative uh, Europe program and for the diversity of art form. This is evidenced uh, by funding and uh, strategic partnership with the sectors, but also by the desire to understand its evolution and needs. And I refer saying that to a very recent study about the situation of the circus in the EU member states. It uh, was published in 2020, just before COVID. Uh, the rapid development of the sector for the last 50 years has been really significant in France, the country that uh, is hosting us today, as elsewhere in Europe. Thanks first to uh, informal networks, as Gwenola said it, and then formal that uh, are meeting here today to mark the 20th anniversary of Tioko Strada. Tioko Strada is one of the network that accelerated the evolution and professionalization as well as the recognition of circus and its encounters with audiences. Internationally, by nature, circus and street arts are intrinsically multidisciplinary arts. And they have undergone, uh, this last decades, a rapid uh, artistic evolution in their contents, but also a technological development and innovation with new teaching methods, uh, new apparatus, new material, new scenic device, uh, new safety uh, tools as well, thank God to that. And this is really what we want to support with the Creative Europe program. Development, innovation, the uh, structuration through the actions that we manage uh, in the European Union uh, through uh, first our classical cooperation programs, then the support we give at the European Commission to networks, platforms that help uh, new creators and some pilot uh, actions. Do you talk numbers? Uh, between uh, the old program, 2014-2020, and the start of the new program, uh, 21 to 27, we supported around 80 uh, street arts and circus projects for about 33.5 million, and uh, we will add to the 6 million. That represents a, a substantial help, uh, and we'll say about 40 million euros altogether. Uh, many of the people who have been supported are in the room, and I'd like uh, to salute again artists, coordinators, partners, and team who conceived uh, wrote and uh, carried this project and who managed uh, to answer the very selective call to tenders and uh, that bring life to them on a daily basis. Many thanks to you because um, Creative Europe or Europe of Creation would be nothing without you. We also support the development of artistic practices and their production. And I'd like to name our project Reform Europe that is an example, uh, and Circus Strada is one of the member of uh, the consortium uh, partners. For us, it's vital to have the voices and practices of contemporary circus and street arts 
represented in this project, which aims to support 35 uh, green, uh, sustainable, equitable, inclusive creations, so as to bring a real long-term evolution, not only in the sector, but also in all performing arts. Uh, I saw one of the participants, you know, coming in this morning with a plant in a backpack. So I see this as a spirit that we really have with us in the room today. Um, this is not an easy practice. Uh, we are uh, very much aware that post-COVID, in a way, may have brought the arts, the performing arts sector, you know, uh, to turn itself on itself. And um, we, these withdrawal reflexes have crept into programming, but uh, we know that uh, there is a real awareness to this problem, care, uh, goodwill, collaboration at the European level as a safe space, you know, in, uh, and this will enable us to collaborate better and more sensitively despite successive crises uh, we had uh, to face. And this will also take us to work beyond our frontiers, rethinking our practices and mode of transmission, research, collaboration, production, and dissemination and presentation convinced of the need uh, for a Europe of creation, um, I think there is a real necessity of uh, European art and European democracy, and I strongly invite you and encourage you to continue working at a European and international scale while keeping on working with national, regional, and local level so that the development of uh, support for the sector continues and is nurtured through the coordination of player. And this is where Circus Strata is important. Please allow me to highlight an aspect, and it is that it will be vital to involve the various level and players in good working conditions, fair remuneration, and the status of the artists. And uh, this is a point of uh, the report I mentioned of uh, 2020. You know, uh, the uh, European Union uh, published within the framework of the open method of coordination. And um, this report was published in July 2023. 20, and it shows how much remained to be done in this area, especially in a sector where there are a lot of freelance workers. Uh, it is the priority number one in the new uh, European Council priority of work, and in our program, we will certainly uh, stress it's important. It is uh, one of uh, the major projects to uh, all cultural sector, not only uh, the one you represent. It is a project that, for reasons of subsidiarity, will have to be carried out at all level with the necessary involvement of all those working in the field. It's not the only project. We'll have to work about the freedom of expression, about cultural right, about inclusions, about gender equality and ecology, and also the external relationship of the European Union. And I'm really pleased to have in this room people coming from outside Europe. So this is a lot of work uh, for us and for you in the next 20 years. I hope I uh, did not uh, spoke more the uh, seven minutes that uh, are usually are allowed for uh, academic uh, circus. Uh, and uh, I'm going uh, to uh, give the floor to, uh, I also speak uh, in the name of Daniel Ayovic, who many of you know, Daniel, unfortunately couldn't be with us today. So a really happy 20th anniversary and uh, fruitful work in Paris and nevertheless a lot of uh, pleasure with it. Thank you, Gilles, for those very encouraging words. I'm going to launch the festivities once more and invite Fabienne Bouget, philosopher from the University of 
for in Paris. Yes. For her keynote. Merci, uh, merci Thank you. Beaucoup. Thank you very Bonjour much. À, Hello à toutes et to everyone. À tous. Vous avez, uh, vous avez une you demande. made a, a request uh, for today and to introduce the notion of care, which I would say is a non-identified object, a bit like the geode here at the Villette the cinema. And this request is something I'm very happy to try to provide an answer. And I'd like to thank our Sena, the, the presidents and managers, to having invited me here, and specifically Laura Jude, with whom I, I've been dialoguing to prepare this talk. I'm going to try and avoid, as much as I can, uh, to taking a, a position from above over this subject and a kind of a, any kind of hierarchical presumptions, because in the field of culture, in this one, in this field in particular, is very an open sector which doesn't hesitate to uh, move the order of things. Putting theater, circus, and outdoor arts together is already abolishing something or distancing what Dubuffet called spectacularly uh, asphyxiating culture that he said were, would efface what creation could bring in terms of originality and dissensual. So the question is, how can we come out of this suffocation that, can, that there's always a risk in culture through the use of care? What artistic content could make it prosper, facing the collapse of collective certainties, even when we see the commodification, this XXL commodification of uh, product, cultural products, which are late with, which are called globalization, in the name of globalization, such as the Barbie film, which has just come out, and which intersect industry, finance, and culture on an unprecedented scale. Is there an urgent need? There is an urgent need to take care of artistic practices, to take care of artists, of audiences, and cultural institutions. At a time when many studies evoke what we could call the, the expulsion and the brutality, the complexity of market-driven societies that normalize these existences, which kind of sorts them to the point of suspending lives, condemning them to survival, or, and, and in that sense, care is an approach, is an ethic, a policy, that take care, takes care of the most vulnerable lives, the most vulnerable people who are in vital need of support and who want to regain dignity and also be recognized, acknowledged. How can we look at that from an aesthetic point of view? Given that in France, for example, we often have uh, been very ironic with our attitude towards care and saying, what should we do? Are we going to turn artists and their audiences into uh, caretakers and, or uh, patients and, 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 med and carers? That's not at all the question here. Even if care can have a certain provocative side, but care is not, the, the idea of care is not to put art into the idea of art as therapy. And I really, really insist on that. But it's rather the establishment of a relationship with the world that's not indissociable from an ethical perspective and a political perspective with fair institutions. So the idea of living a good life with fair institutions. So these practices are really vital. I think that when we talk about care, we need to be realistic. It's difficult to say we can produce care, we can produce goodwill and good practices. Because today, 
And I'd just like to look at the present for a moment here. There's a, an attempt to identify this non-identified object, which is care. And today there is a use, a neoliberal use of care, which is well defined by many studies. This use infiltrates our, our lives every day and makes us permeable, makes us permeable subjects and associates us with what many people call a crisis of care. I think when we're talking about this neoliberal use of care to refer to the works of Michel Foucault, his work on neoliberalism and the Naissance de la Biopolitique, a book uh, in which he speaks of, the, of American neoliberalism and it's what it's in, that liberalism in America has a, a set itself the task of extending economic analysis to areas hitherto considered non-economic. So that can social areas, culture, and even in prisons. So with this application of neoliberalism to care, we have to interpret spheres of life in strictly economic terms, which up until now were not considered as economic spheres. And so Michel Foucault said that with that perspective, human beings are associated with human capital, part of which is acquired, which means that you have to build the human capital over the life of an individual, in particular through investments in education. And in that perspective of human capital, what Michel Foucault puts forward is this necessity to make, to make this capital come to fruition as on the market to fabricate, to manufacture us within a, in a relationship of um, an idea of life that, that people are entrepreneurs and an entrepreneur of themselves selling this capital. There's an expression I found very interesting. He explains that society will build, favorize, and manufacture kinds of skills, machine-based skills, which will produce revenue. And that is how he defines this new liberalism, uh, American neoliberalism, which is like manufacturing well-equipped individuals and care in that context is a way of manufacturing and taking care of those economic units, those individuals. And in that perspective, care becomes a service. We talk about uh, home services, uh, personal services, and there's even a, a a merchant idea, commodization sorry, of care, making it into a thing that can be purchased. The ethics of care comes in as a response to this need this neoliberal use of care from the 80s onwards in the States, in particular, thanks to a, a first text published by Carol Gilligan in a different voice, published in 82, when, um, during the Reagan presidency. This text, and with this movement of ethics of care is the recognition of the universality of care and a, and a, and a relationship that is fair between our practices of care and our measures of care. So if we look at Gilligan's text or John Tronto's text, 
about care. The idea is to prove and to say that there is an activity which is generic and necessary that includes everything we do to maintain, perpetuate and repair our world. Those three verbs are important, maintain, perpetuate and repair our environment so that we can live as well as possible. Supporting life in some ways, you could say. That's, that's the ethic of care is to so, support all life in a fair way. Of course, we need to add that if the experience of care is universal, it, all, it concerns interpersonal relationships which are unique and which belong to a world of vulnerabilities and with the necessity to be part of that. We take care of people who are more in need than ourselves, more vulnerable than ourselves, in a relationship between some a giver of care, a caregiver and a receiver of care, there is a hierarchy in that sense. It's also sometimes the caregiver can be very vulnerable. And the whole question of care becomes a question of scale of care, more or less fragile, against a backdrop of vulnerability. The vulnerability which is those of our bodies, first and foremost. And I also think of the, the, of the play by Julie Deliquet, which is currently at the Gérard Philippe Theatre, and in the way that in an office for social work in New York in the 70s, you see these uh, people and these bodies asking for help, asking for social welfare, and all of the, the way that these people ask how they do it, how they demand, what they need, and it's a very interesting point to, to bring up this question of bodies in the scope of care, these bodies which are more or less vulnerable. If you go from the body to the subject, we are not sovereign subjects. We are dependent and interdependent subjects. We are subjects which, at one point in our lives, will feel dispossessed. It's an experience we will have, and that changes our definition of autonomy. You don't have to be, it should, should not have to be autonomous. It's something we need to be thought of within the scope of accidents of, and dispossession of our capabilities, vulnerability in life. So with this accent on care, what's very unique is all, uh, all of these care relationships are all unique. And now I'd like to carry on with a third point, which is the relationship between the care, care and art and the arts. It's a line of interpretation which is coming into being in a certain number of countries, including France now, for many years. It's been the case in the US, in the UK, and, and others, many others. How can we take better care? And how do we do it well in the context of culture and arts? In theater, circus, outdoor arts, there are creations, more than creators. It's like a beehive because everything's collective, related, located somewhere on a stage or on a public space, more or less public space. And we find what care demands, collective responsibility, the um, stamping down of hierarchies, collaborations. And of course, there is vulnerability. 
We are looking at a small form of society with its possible cooperations, dialogues, its unstable balances, but also has its conflicts and its excesses. You can be faced with kind of utopias of organization like the Villette, or perhaps a utopia of, of, of living beings because bodies are very present. So these arts represent a culture that denies the hierarchical order imposed through art history between noble arts and popular arts. And we know this notion very well in um, philosophy, and it's very hard to get rid of and overcome. So there's, they uh, require an appropriation by the subjects that pay attention to them. They need their, it takes, includes a space for judgment, reflection, or criticism. In this register, the ethics of care, which we're starting to identify, are important because they highlight, in, in terms of support, the importance of alterity, otherness, the importance of incorporating uh, and considering difference and otherness. Your, your artistic presence here, our way of performing, preserving forms of difference in our liberal societies, in the case of a post-fordist capitalism, still in perspectives of globalization, which is to say is uniformization. So I'd like to finish with a reference to Sophie Kahl. In 2007, this artist published a book called Take Care of Yourself. Her artistic proposition was this. She wrote, I received a breakup email. I didn't know what, how to answer. It was if uh, it wasn't written for me, and it finished with the words, take care of yourself. So she asked 107 women chosen for their professions and their talents, writers, actresses, researchers, um, family mediators, lawyers, to interpret the letter from a professional perspective, which means to help her to untangle this mysterious letter, which put an end to her uh, love relationship. So take care of yourself. And so... What is she doing? So what was Sophie Kahl doing? She is doing, creating a performance, of course, but within the context of an association between art and ethics, because through what she's asking these 107 women, it is a request for attention, a request for attention in a vulnerability, in a situation of vulnerability, where she is vulnerable. And it's completely, in this way, it's, it's clearly artistic. And why? Because art and the answers and what Sophie Kahl built with that insinuates something. It insinuates, art always insinuates. Keep that in. There's the relationship to ethics is never transparent. It's, it's a question of games and ethics are always aestheticized. Fortunately, we, there's always a, a sensitive uh, capacity of art which is open to all a dialogue, as Proust, as Proust wrote. Beautiful books are always written in a kind of foreign language and wonderful circus also. So be careful with this notion of care. I have two comments to make as a, as a conclusion. Firstly, this is the register of arts, all arts. And so care must always be, first and foremost, to take care of our imagination. According to Deleuze and Guattari, May 68 never came as a, except through the imagination. We could say that care as as an attention given to imagination, could finally give that power to the imagination. But only if that is in with the framework of institutions that know how to invent themselves, reinvent themselves in the context 
of auto institutions. In some ways, Sophie Kell and these 107 uh, women who responded to her is a beginning of an institution on ima for imagination and care, first and foremost, is to take care of what is invented. The second thing is, of course, that care is about inventions, things that are created, but they are also the product of the sum of relationships and relationships in which a capacity to care is unfurled. This empathy, sensitivity to care, and above all, the empathy with creation. Our societies must have empathy for creation. They should be, which means that they really should work against brutalities, complexities, expulsions. They should take care of, di of otherness, of this otherness that carries and leads to inventions, which are not individual creations, but collective creations that can lead to new institutions. And we need new institutions. You are one, after all, in this field for care, as soon as we're looking at artistic practices. What I wanted to say to conclude is that we must not forget that our time, our need for care is impossible to satisfy. It's an echo to a, a book by Sig Dakerman that was written in the great disasters of the 20th century. Our need for consolation is impossible to satisfy. Thank you. Thank you, Fabienne, for this very inspiring talk. So, three, two, one. I'm going to English now. I'm going to give you some time to adjust your headphone if you need to or not. Um, so, while the stage can be rearranged for the next uh, uh, roundtable, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this little book that we gave you. Um, and uh, so it is our, our anniversary, as you know. So we asked all the members of the network if they wanted to submit a story of being a member. And together with our editor, uh, John Ellingsworth, we selected 20 stories from the members of the network. Some stories are from recent members of the network. Some are from very old members of the network. And some are intimate, some are political. You will see some are funny, some are very serious. But I suggest you can read them. Uh, the stories are both in French and in English, as this morning. Um, and you will see that um, we have some drawings also in the book. Merci. Uh, so we asked an illustrator, Marie-Ange Danoff, to um, do some drawings on some of the words. Oop. Drawings, back. Drawings. Can I have my drawings? <clears throat> so, once. <laughs> so, we selected 20 words also in the uh, Thesaurus made by Artsena. So, the Thesaurus is a compilation of words that are used for contemporary circus and outdoor arts professionals. And we decided to illustrate them and to translate them also. So to give you a little bit of a pace while reading. I'm being sabotaged, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> so this is the part where they're changing the setting for the round table, I'm assuming. Um, I'm going to keep talking. So there is this book. <laughs> Um, and at the end of the book, you also have some key facts and figures from Circostrada over the 20 years, okay? So 
it took us a lot of time to do this book and a lot of energy. And so I suggest you really to read it and tell us what you think about it. Because we want to hear your feedback about this, okay? Please tell us. And it's a pretty nice. And also my shirt is, uh, you know, the colors. We made an effort. I didn't do this on purpose. Apparently somebody told me. Anyway, um, there is something else also that was given to you. It's this, okay? Uh, as you realize, we didn't print any program, but you have the program here that you can scan in French and in English, of course. But this is a really bit of a, a recap of the three days. Uh, so keep it with you at all times. We will send you reminders, of course, but there are uh, several QR codes at the back. Uh, one very important QR code is the WhatsApp group. Okay, so I think more than half of you are already in the WhatsApp group, but uh, the idea of the WhatsApp group, which you can scan the QR code and be inside, is that you receive up-to-date information of everything, okay? Everything is in the program, everything is in the WhatsApp group. You can still ask us questions, of course. Uh, and for the exact location of all the venues, you also have a map, okay? Um, and you don't need to worry because at the end of each morning, we're going to give you a recap of what's happening after, okay? So we will keep reminding you of all the details of the program. You also have our contacts. And I think that as soon as the screen is down, I'm going to have a slide on something around communication. Let's enjoy the noise of it. Voila. So the drawings, rue, street. Next. Voila. So be informed and spread the love. The practical info, I told you. The Google map, I told you as well. The WhatsApp community, if you're not on it, please be on it. You can tag us on Facebook and Instagram at Chukosuada Network. You can tag us on X and LinkedIn at Chukosuada. These are the hashtags you can use. I think you have it all. You can take a picture of it if you want. And now that I did my beat, I think I'm going to invite all the beautiful people for the next round table on the ethics of care artwork, and I'm going to welcome them on stage, and they're going to introduce themselves. Big round of applause, please.